Hey guys, Moustache here. Uh, I don't... Maybe you've been wondering, probably not, where the videos have been. What are you doing? You said you're gonna make more videos and then you don't come out with a video for every two weeks. Yeah, probably more than two weeks. Uh, so, I don't know if you can see down here. I think you can probably see some of this. I've been super busy uh, making pops. Uh, if you know, I collect pops. Pops are my things, uh, as well as other collectibles. But I've been getting into the process of custom making pops now. So I've made some of my friends. Uh, I'm making some of the wedding party for my wedding as gifts. Uh, but I just finished one I'm extremely happy about. This is the John Gibson pop from the uh, Anaheim Ducks. I'm a super big Ducks fan. Go Ducks. But this guy was just finished last night. He looks extremely awesome. Got the logo there. Got the uh, pad details there. And then I uh, got the number on the back. Things look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way he looks. And this is not the last one I will be doing. Um, I'm actually going to be getting into another one. But first, going into the John Gibson one here. Uh, this is a mix of two pre-existing pops. So first off, I have the Target exclusive Winter Soldier here. I was able to snag this from somebody in a pop group that I'm in. And so I was able to use the head from there. As you can see, the head is, or the hair is brown. So I had to paint that with black. The, uh, the paints I use are the Createx airbrush color. Uh, that is the opaque one. So I usually airbrush all of these uh, with a mix of, uh, of hand brushing as well. And then I used a Carey Price body for all of the goalie pads and stuff like that since they are in the same position that John Gibson uses um, since he's a right hand or left hand glove, right hand stick and so on and so forth. So like I said, this is not the last one I'll be doing. The next one up is Ryan Kessler. So I'm using the uh, Steven Stamkos body for that. So I'll be taking all of this apart and uh, changing up the head and everything like that. So the head I'm using for this one is going to be the Dean Winchester pop. This is probably, I think, the closest I can get to maybe the hair as well as the facial hair on there without getting too crazy. Um, I'll kind of go into some of the things I use as well as some of the steps and then um, I'll release this video first and then we'll get into the other parts later. So first off we'll get into the things that you use or at least that I use to do the custom pops. Microwave. I never reset the timer. Um, I just people hate that but yeah microwave is definitely one of the things you need. Uh, I have these cups that are kind of I don't want to say trash cups but like they're cups that I can throw stuff in or like throw water with paint. I put water in these to heat up the pops. Here I have the Rust-Oleum Matte Clear. Uh, I usually don't use Rust-Oleum, I use Krylon, but the last time I went out to get the, uh, the sealer, they only had Rust-Oleum, which works fine. And then next I use the Fine Surface Primer from Tamiya. Next up, like I said, the paints. I use the Kratex Airbrush Colors. Uh, it's smart to just, they have an opaque basic color pack, comes with yellow, white, uh, blue, green, black, and um, red. And so you buy, I bought that one a long time ago and then now I'm just mixing colors in. Like I have two metallic greens that I used on a previous custom. Uh, I have a few transparent blacks, a few golds. I really love uh, this one, which is the uh, transparent... Uh, sunrise yellow which I mix with some of the other colors to make like a skin tone it works really well uh, the airbrush the airbrush reducer as well as uh, you might as well buy a big one of this one and this is the uh, the airbrush cleaner and then speaking of airbrush I use an Iwata Eclipse airbrush here uh, or Neo Neo yeah not Eclipse it's an uh, Iwata Neo I used to have an off-brand one and uh, you could kind of tell it was off-brand. Not to mention, if you can store your pops or your uh, your paints in a cool thing, make sure you do that. I have the uh, Hansel and Carbonite, so that's always a plus. Uh, I also have various brushes. Uh, I try not to buy brushes a lot. This pair I just bought, or this I bought a I just bought a big pack of brushes, um, just because I'm not doing like super. A lot. You're not doing a lot of hand brushing, or uh, yeah, hand painting. If you're going to be doing the, uh, the airbrushing, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of taping, as you can see. Another thing I use is I use the Tamiya masking tape, which I love. Uh, masking tape is 
it's a labor of love. It works out really well if you do it really good. Uh, here's another goalie body that I'm working on. Uh, the computer. Computer is definitely a must if you're going to be doing a lot of ta uh, like taping with the Tamiya tape because it's going to take a really long time. Uh, so you're going to want to watch videos or hear something in the background like music as well as it's a great uh, spot for like reference photos too to make sure uh, all the stuff looks great. It's a really messy area. This is the area I paint in. But uh, another one is boxes. I try to keep all of my spare parts in boxes. So I have this one. This is a, a Baymax custom that I need to do. And then I have some stuff in there. You can see there's another duck, hence the, uh, the goalie body in there. And then with the airbrush, like I said, you're going to want, um, or if you're using the airbrush, of course, you're going to have a compressor. Mine is just an off-brand compressor that I bought a really long time ago. Uh, I also have a cat. The cat helps sometimes. So that's honestly a lot of the stuff that uh, I started using when doing customs. Uh, we'll get into more stuff later. I think that's a really good starting spot, especially if you're going to be doing the airbrushing slash um, doing the hand brushing with small stuff. Like the on this particular pop, a lot of the hand brushing stuff was like the gold here or the um, small orange spots here. Instead of you know whipping out the airbrush for every little thing, um, I did do some of these hand painting or hand painted, and that works out really well. Um, so the next video will probably be me starting to do the uh, Ryan Kessler pot, so we'll get into that later. So, Moustache again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps. And uh, if you want to stay up to date with this particular custom, um, subscribe. Thank you, Moustache again. Peace. Bye bye.